Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Manx, and I welcome you guys back to Vision Quest. I know this is supposed to be like a early morning upload, but my uploading schedule is a little bit over, all over the place right now. But I just, I want to play some Fire Emblem every day. In ancient times, before the lands had taken the names they bear today, humankind was in strife. Great wars seared the lands, leaving destruction and death in their wake. The sacrifices of this strife in the region of Bolero today, now laid to rest in a coastal mausoleum lost to time in some, to some but not all. Here we are, the graveyard. While it'll be our resting place, let's hope it isn't our final one. Oh hush you, don't scare them off. It's bad enough we have to come back here. I kid, sister. Loosen up a little bit. It feels just like old times being here. Don't sweat it, this place will be fine. So long as it's safe. I take it you both have spent a lot of time here? More than we'd like to admit. It's a bit peculiar to me that two Kuchingi would know this place. Much less be in Balaro at all. Tell me, who are you, really? Esphere. Storch, you can't be so trusting. They're hi hiding something from us. This whole thing feels suspicious. You've been giving us a glaring eye the whole walk here. You don't trust us one bit, but let me guess. You're from Western Nevon. Figures. You border Nevonese always take issue with our folk. I'm happy to return the favor if you want to play this way. City, please! This is no time to bring up old tensions. Our people haven't been at war with Nevon in decades. What's going on? Do you guys know each other? No, it's just... I'm sorry. I don't want to get into it, but please accept my apology. I didn't mean to be rude to you both. That's better. Thank you, Esphere. And I'm sorry too, we have not been forthright either. City and I are fugitives, we're on the run. Dewey, you dimwit, we shouldn't be telling people that. I care not, brother. It's clear they know nothing of us and what we've done. Besides, we are far from our borders out here. So what did you do? We were involved in a robbery. Go on. Right. Our people live in relative poverty on the plains in Kuching. We're into, how you say, the old ways of living. City, myself, and a few others attacked a supply caravan. We thought they were merchants. We were wrong. It was a supply train from Mostyn. Their knights retaliated. They captured or killed most of our friends. City and I were seen, and I have been on the run ever since. We originally figured Mahala would be a good place to hide. As many of our ancestors made the journey centuries ago. But Balar has been pretty good to us. Low-key and mellow, a seaside breeze. What's not like? We were still planning on going on to Mahala. But we also didn't want to starve. So we've been not mulling around here for a while. But does that answer your question? Works for me. We're not too different. Indeed. I apologize for questioning you, but it had to be done. Please forgive my interrogation. We dealt with worse. Look, I'd love to grab an ale and, and swap tales of life from on the run. But it looks like we're not alone here. Did you see that? Someone's lurking in the shadows. What? Who's there? Come out if you know what's good for you. Damn, it's too dark here. I can't see too far at all. Stay together, everyone. It looks like we have company. It appears we have been found. They look like nothing but a band of petty thieves. They won't know who we are or what we are doing. This is a graveyard after all. A fitting end, wouldn't you say? Indeed. We cannot let them leave after having seen us. It is too risky. Additionally, we must be wary of intruders from the northwest. Our brothers have noted suspicious activity here as well. We will be very wary. Let's bury them. I think I may have a better use for them. Okay. Defeat bosses. Okay. Multiple bosses. Oh boy. Fog of War Rain. Scheiße. That is, uh... That is something. Okay, so we probably wanna... I feel like... Hmm. Should we bring Sri and Devi? Who should we bench in that case? I like Marlon, but... I want, I want these two with me. Um... Do, 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 do. I'm sorry, Natsuko. I'm sorry, Natsuko. I guess I don't have... I still got two sword users, I suppose. Oh, we have a Lance Reaver that we should probably uh, trade to someone. Probably Storch, I imagine. Okay... We also, like, we really should be using these stat boosters at some point, don't you guys think? I'll think a little bit about it. I'll pause the game for a brief moment. 
Alright, so this is what I've decided to do. We're gonna give a Goddess Icon to Arcady because he his luck is kinda low at 6, so I kinda wanna get it off so he doesn't like fall into like low percent of crit ranges. I'm gonna give one to... <coughs> oh, my apologies. We should, I'm gonna give one to uh, Larissa because she's cool, and as well as a uh, Talisman to Larissa because she's cool. And I'm gonna put the Angelic Robe on Storch, because honestly he's always on the front lines doing shit. And I think that it just works, you know. There we go. And uh, we can do this. I think everyone... Oh well, we obviously want equipment on Larissa as well, so let's do this. Alright, I think we're done with uh, Bottle Preps for now, guys. So we got some Dark Mages here, and the Barrier Staff will come in handy. It's on uh, Dewey right now, so that's okay. Oh, actually, there is something I want to do before we start. I want to go and uh, visit the Armory, and I want to buy a Heal Staff, because I don't think they cost anything more in this Armory. It's actually a rather nice resource. Alright, let's go. Hey, Dewey. Hmm? What is it, Sri? You remember that old stone path to the northwest of here? Yeah, why do you ask? Well, it seems there were more enemies. It seems like where more enemies may come from, you know? The kind of place we should take a look at to make sure. There ain't nothing there, you know? Right, be safe, brother. Ah. Alright, place City and Dewey on those tiles. Well, good thing I brought them, then. Alright, any, any talk conversations? Looks like Vagilus and, and Storch have a talk. Any supports? Storch, s fair s for Storch. That seems to be the only one for now. Should we maybe support and light a torch? Hey, s fair how are you holding up? I'm fine, Storch. As fine as we can be in times like these. Nothing we can do but continue to fight and move forward. I hear you, s fair I'm grateful you're able to help us out so much. You've only been in Rusk for a short time, but it's hard to imagine how life was before you arrived. It's nothing, Storch. We are in similar situations. If I can be of use, then I will do what I can. That's all. But please, take care of yourself, Storch. You too, Esper. Thanks. So I don't... Yeah, you can still do things, even when you support. So that's nice to see. Okay. Alright. I kind of want to pop this conversation with storage. Uh, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna use the longbow to avoid a retaliation. Actually, oh, that's kind of dumb. Because now I can't- I can, I can still proc the talk conversations, I guess, but I can't attack afterwards. Vigilus, how's your shot in the fog? Same as normal? Meaning it's awful, then. Heh, <laughs> we both know I- we wouldn't have made it this far if that was the case. Fair enough. I spent many early mornings waiting for the fog to fade, when out on a hunt. You, you can't shoot as far, but you can shoot just as well as short range. So for you, it's still horrendous? Would you like to participate in target practice? <laughs> I'll pass, but thanks for the offer. I love the relationship, it's very cute. Anyway, I have like, uh, an axe that's like super effective against dark magic. So I'm gonna shove you to- oh, what the hell? Huh? Oh. Okay then. I guess I have to shove one more time then. Something tells me I should probably barrier up Larissa. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll shove one more time then, I guess. Whee! There we go. I'd like to see Dark Mage just make a number on her now. Oh, I already moved with her though. Uh, okay, I guess I'll do this then? There we go, that's better. Yeah, Moonracer! Gotta love the sax, man. Alright, and then we have a Dark Mage, like, right here. Hmm. I say we place Sri on this forest so he can retaliate on this guy when he attacks him. We'll see what comes our way. Dodge. No! Ah, I don't like using my Moon, moon Racer on this guy. I feel like it's gonna be very useful against the bosses and shit. Oh wow, listen to this song. Oh no, I placed S for in range. Shit. I think what I can do is I can trade the Moonriser over to Nassar and then go and bonk this guy. Because Nassar is in range. And I think I will. There we go. Here have the Moonriser and a little shove because why not? 
There we go. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Yoink. Nothing cheers me up like Nassar's moves. And then I suppose, yeah, Storch can go and take on this guy. Does he double? No, he does not. Iron Blade almost kills, but not quite. But if we bring in uh, Vagless, then he should fall rather easily. I guess we can also do this. I can't really torch that far. I don't think this is necessarily going to do much. So I think instead, I will just mend. Bum. <sighs> All right, so uh, I think I'm gonna use. Oh wow, Sri, the hell, man! You know what? Maybe you should get a barrier. I think that is probably a smart idea. Wait, uh, what about this guy? He can attack all the way over here. So right now, four damage, that sounds reasonable. No crit, sadly. Wow. That's okay. He's sadly not gonna be able to retaliate. Ah, if only this hack had one, two range short bows, am I right? If only this hack had one, two range short bows. That'd be something. We don't want to. We don't want to use the moon racer. That's uh, very true. That'd be bad. If I move like that, do you think he doubles? Will he double Lara? I don't think he will. Nah, I think he'll be doubled actually with that steel sword. Maybe not if I will the thunder tome, but it's okay. Nah, right, why am I using the ruby sword? She should have an iron sword on her. That's kind of dumb. Also, I think I've completely forgotten to check for stealables, so that's a bit annoying. Do, 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 do. A lot of people pointed out how I didn't use the warp staff in the last map in the comments. It's very true. I um I realized watching that episode in retrospect that the warp staff would have really helped me out, and I kind I think I kind of forget that I have it because you're not really supposed to have a warp staff that early on in Fire Emblem. Alright. Mm. I always think the wizard bow is like super effective against these guys, and then I remember that it's not. Maybe the wind tomo? Nah, it's not really doing much here. Uh, I think I'm gonna do this. Chug a javelin at this guy. I love how the javelin like bends a little bit when it's thrown up in the air. It's very realistic. That's how a real javelin acts when thrown. Javelins are not, like, completely stiff. They're supposed to be bendable so that they, like, vibrate through the air almost. That's why I hate the Fates Javelin so much. It's so dumb and impractical. It shouldn't, it shouldn't look like that. Alright, let's uh, go and show. Pure water, you say? Well, it's my pure water now. Anything else that I forgot to steal? Don't rightly know right now, but one thing I do know is I'm going to blast up a torch right here and see what we can see. Ooh, hi. Vulnerary, chest key, flux, iron lance, steel bow, iron lance, iron lance, iron lance, torch. Hmm. If we use a longbow, we can probably take him out without suffering a retalia retaliatory strike. There we go. And then I can do this. I can I can get some value out of driver assistance, although this guy is not going for Vagalus, I, I realize that. That makes perfect sense, almost. Alright, I think I can finish this guy off now with, uh... Yeah, Killer Bow just has so much more might. Oh, now I crit. Okay. Always crit when you don't need to. Uh, I think I'm getting a cold. Uh, 
Okay, he's going for an ASIM. That's... That's okay. Oh no, he's taking my chest! He's taking my chest! Not cool. Gotta go stop him. <laughs> I realize I used the longbow a lot just to not take counterattack damage, but I have a fucking healer here, so I don't really know why. <laughs> like, it's better to use... It's probably better to save the longbow a little bit. I don't know when I'm gonna get my next one. Alright, so what do we have here? We have, uh... I think I'm gonna... Alright, so this guy does 13, this guy does 16. I have... Oh, zero resistance status. Yikes. 13 damage. So, I'll go down to 17, and then this guy does 16. So that's fine, actually. I can do this. I'll have the defense of the forests, so I can do this as well. And I, I guess we can just torch here. I don't know why that archer is, like, on the center of the island. Like, what is he gonna do from there? I don't get it. Is he gonna reach, like... Is he gonna reach any... I guess... Yeah, he has a longbow, so I guess he can, like, reach certain spots, but still, it's kind of weird. I'm gonna be completely honest. Anyway, I don't think we need to use the Moon Racer here, but it's still nice to have it, I guess. <laughs> oh, no! Oh, no! <sighs> ah. How dare you not get hit by Nassar. Go, let's heal up. And let's do this. Huh, I wish I had a longbow now, that'd be nice. Okay, so what does this guy have? An axe? Iron axe? I guess I can shoot him from here. I'll still take a re retaliation, but I have a barrier staff still up, so shouldn't really hurt me that much. There we go. And then we can do this. Yeah. Best tank right here. Might be one of my new favorite units, this girl. I think Nassar is still, like, my number one, but Larissa is, like, probably number two right now. It's always nice to get a really good, useful armor knight. Yeah. Okay, he dodged. Sweet. <laughs> Three damage. Yeah, that's right. Weapon triangle is a myth, guys. It doesn't exist. It's an elaborate farce. Look at it. Looky here. Does this look? Does this look like a weapon triangle to you guys? It doesn't look like a weapon triangle to me. Oh, okay. We gotta stop like believing in, in false things. I am officially now a weapon triangle denier. It's just a farce. We've been we've been tricked from the start, guys. Woo! Well, that was kind of shitty. Is is my Arcadia falling off? Oh, what a teal gem! All right, this hack just has to be fancy, right? Can't have like red or blue gems. No, it's teal gem. What is it even worth? Oh, a thousand gold. Okay, so it's like a shittier red gem. All right. Okay. <laughs> I see. <laughs> uh, shit. Okay, I gotta kill this guy. Please hit. Yay. Okay, we, we have to intercept that thief, I guess. That's important, so maybe we should do that. I guess I could warp someone up there to get it? I mean, I have 15 uses. I, I shouldn't hoard it. I really shouldn't hoard it. Hit points, strength, defense, and resistance. Pretty good. Alright. Guess I'm not killing that guy. Hopefully I won't die. Let's uh, mend him up, but yeah, I'm... If that thief is like, shows signs of like, running away next turn, I might just warp someone up there to get him. I think that's probably a good idea. Uh, so let's move up here with S-Fear. Kinda wanna light a torch, to be honest, just to see what's up here. My ruby sword is about to break. Is that her personal weapon, or is that just a, a sword? 
It, no, it's just a C rank sword. Okay. That's cool, then. Anyway, Moonrise of Time. Huh. This axe is very useful off the bat for the player. And I think, yeah, good old Wind Tome gets the job done. Phew! And then I think we'll send uh, we'll send Larissa up to deal with these guys. What does this guy have? An Iron Lance? Should I like rebury her up, maybe, or probably probably just heal her? I think. So what do we have here? Mostly Iron Lances, right? Heal stuff here. These guys don't boo. Oh, here's Stois, a mysterious soldier, leader in a shadowy cult. There's a leadership star and even rhythm. I've seen that portrait somewhere before. There's something eerily familiar about that face. This is a splice of something that I've seen in another hack, I swear to god. Who is that? I've seen that portrait somewhere in a hack somewhere before, but without like without the hood? It's just something about his eyes. It's just super familiar. Weird as fuck. Strange indeed. Ow. Let's see if we can catch a glimpse of the other boss. You gotta kill both of them, apparently. Hey, <laughs> Glink. Oh, no. Maybe, maybe in this hack, the weapon triangle goes like this. Maybe lances beat lances. Ah, uh, I should be able to just throw the moon racer in his face, don't you guys think? Ba -ba -da -da -na -na -na. Okay, where's he going? Oh, he's going for the stairs, I think. Um, okay, this is kind of annoying. Uh, we don't have a... Mm, okay, so the thief went over here. I'm... How far can I warp? I don't think I'll have vision, but I'll try. Nope, I do not. Um... Uh, well, <laughs> yeah, he ran away. Oh well, that's a thousand gold I'll never have back, I guess. Whoop, whoops. Well, at least I'm still bad at using the warp stuff, I guess. All right, I think it's uh, Moon Racer time, guys. I am using this axe probably a little bit too much, but every time I use it, it's to kill a Dark Mage. I feel like it's warranted, you know? Even though I probably could have killed them without. It's, just, it's so much fun to use a fancy weapon, you know? Hit points, speed, and luck. Okay, uh, can I... Let's just try and kill this guy, shall we? Oh, beautiful. Beautiful, that's exact damage too, I think. No, that's actually a lot more than exact damage. Uh, 36 damage. Aww. Oh, right. The Axe Reaver has, like, a lot of might on it for some reason. It's actually a pretty good lance to use. It has more might than a Steel Lance, which is quite impressive. Does it actually have? Does she have? No, I don't think it has. It has definitely more than a, yeah, 10 might. It's pretty good. All things considered. Ooh, okay. I don't like that. Uh, I think I'm gonna... Rescue and then drop. So I don't want a Pegasus Knight plus a soldier on my squishy mage. That would not be nice. And then let's uh, bonk this guy in the noggin. Gonk. Hit points. There we go. I still need to... Okay, I think this might be my ruby sword going bye-bye. I still need to figure out if the ruby sword doubles weapon tri the triangle. Dis Wait, no, the weapon triangle doesn't exist. What am I talking about? It's a farce. Oh, I almost got lured in again there. God, old habits are very hard to break, guys. Very hard to break. <laughs> I always thought his dodge was kind of funny. 
Oh, what the hell? Not cool. Alright, looks like I can make my way to the boss soon enough, but first let's send City and Esphere over here. Alright, bombed. Maybe I'll see the boss now, actually, come to think of it. Oh, hi. He's like, eh, eh, eh. Incoming. Incoming. Who's this? Sard. Miasma. I'm guessing he has odd rhythm. Yeah, <laughs> I figured as much. Two bosses, two rhythms, you know. Alright, uh, I think we'll move here. Uh, actually, no. Let's, uh, let's bonk this guy. Whoop! I, I still don't think I've triggered his wrath, ever. See, so yeah, I'll put three on that tile next turn, but for now, I want to kind of shoot down this guy. Ra -ba 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 -ba. Hit point! Alright, let's go for the chests. I guess we can heal up a little bit just in case, but I don't think it should be necessary. It's just the bosses left at this rate. I didn't check if this guy has anything to steal. I, I don't think so. I just saw a heal stuff. I think he drops it, though. Yeah, he does indeed drop it. I guess I could smack him with a fireball, but it's not going to do a lot of damage. Skill and resistance. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Hit points, magic, speed, luck, and resistance. Okay. And let's heal up. I think it's about time to start taking down these bosses now. I think they're pretty much the only ones left at this rate. Oh, gotta be careful, I don't want Onisim to, to die here. Okay, going for storage, that makes sense. He probably will double, I think. I think regular generic Pegasus Knights actually- nah, never mind. I don't know what their con is, but I know that in FE7 they have like four con, so they get slowed down like four points by an Iron Lens. Eh, they have six con, I, they still get slowed down by two points, but still pretty good, I guess. Alright, he's dead. So, yeah, I only need to get an Asar in range with the Moon Racer, and that should be it. But I think we can do... we can do this now. Hmm. Looks like nothing over here. Should get back to the others. You! Who are you? Wow, where did you come from? I've been traveling. These shamans are troublesome. Please allow me to help you. Sure, we can use all the help we can get. What's your name? Call me... Good night. That's Norwegian. Oh, he's like in her tile. What the hell? Wait, he's a merc? An enigmatic mercenary. Prefers to not speak. Sword mercenary. How is he different from Storch? I already got one of these. Hex. Okay. That's interesting. Is he like a hidden character? I guess he is. Wow, steel blade. Good weapon. 40 strength, 45 skill, 55 speed, 20 luck, 15 defense, 45 res, 75 eight. Wow, he has... He's like a... Oh my god, he's a mage killer. He's a mage killer, guys. Look at him, he has 9 base res, 5 base defense. And he comes with Hex as his personal skill. He is... He's a mage killer. Hehehe. <laughs> Where's my goddamn lockpick? Did I fucking- Why do I always forget my lockpicks? Why do I always forget my fucking lockpicks? What is wrong with me? Why do I always forget my lockpicks? Oh, I haven't seen his uh, drawing axe animations before. Lol, nice. Okay, well, so I got a mage killer. Very interesting. And now I need to go get my lockpick so I can open the goddamn chests. Guess I can put Larissa in front of this guy. Ooh, 15 damage. That's actually kind of scary. Insolent fool. You should not have come to this forsaken place. Maybe I uh, can place Gunnar next time. Gunnar. 
That is a very Norwegian name, it's kind of funny. I don't know, you probably say Gunnar or something, but Gunnar is how you say it in Norwegian. Gunnar. It's gonna be the new Hingri, isn't it? Man, you're saying Gunnar wrong. It's not pronounced like that. Alright, uh, let's go get the chests, I guess. Hellfire. Okay. What if three steps here? Oh, okay, so there's only one of them that has to step on one of the tiles, I see. I see. Alright, well, um, kind of curious to see if Gunnar has, like, a talk combo with this guy. I guess he's pretty good against these guys. You, you're... How did you get here? It doesn't matter. This will end. You won't get away this time. Oh, I like his... I think he has the same animations as Torch. But I mean, Hex is kind of nice, because... It doesn't... It, it, it doesn't mean that only he gets 15% extra hit whenever he hits, but like, everyone else will get a 15% extra hit, which is kind of nice. Blast. Perhaps if it is I who deserve this cruel... Wow, look at that. That's a pretty fucking good level, miss. Alright, well, we'll get him. You challenge me here? Well then, what are you waiting for? Come. My Yasma. Well, probably gonna give. <laughs> it's hard. Where have I heard that? I don't know. That seems like a meme reference, but I'm not sure. Anyway, let me go open the other chest, see what it contains. Light brand. That's nice. I really want to get the kill with the moon racer. <laughs> I really want to get the kill with the moon racer. I'm just gonna get some uh, staff experience here before we uh, wrap up the chapter. There we go. And yeah, no, it's... I'm gonna move... Actually, you know what? I wanna see if Gunnar talks to this guy, too. He doesn't. Our ambitions, will they be unfulfilled? Skill and resistance, okay. Whoever they were, they did not want us to find out. They didn't look like grave robbers, either. Yeah, this whole encounter spooked me out. I just hope we can get some sleep now. Man, what I would do for my old bed. Storch, perhaps it's time we tried to head back to Rosk? What, really? We need to get out of here. Everywhere where we turn, we find ourselves embroiled in a conflict. Whether it will be arrogant soldiers, brigand, or bizarre cultists, it may be good for us to regroup at home. Maybe you're right. I guess we don't have much choice. We'll head to Rosk. Dewey, Sri, will you be coming? Ain't nowhere else to be going, right, sister? Sadly true, yes. We will come with you. Thanks for having us, Torch. People in the Western Navan tend to look down on us, Kachingi, and think we are beneath them. You and your comrades, I, I sense no such hostility. Ignorance is bliss, right? Something to be said about only knowing about what's right in front of you. You're like me. Who cares which patch of soil you were born on? You've earned my trust. And mine too. Let's go. A late night brawl leaves Storch and the team with nowhere safe to go. Reluctantly, as per as for his suggestion, Storch heads home in hopes he can take a re reprieve with his parents, despite his father's stern words months prior. However, upon their arrival, not all is as it seems. Mom! Dad! We're back! Huh? They're not here. What? They're not here? That doesn't sound good. Storch? Is that you, boy? Hey, Owen, it is. Marlin is here, too. Good. I'm glad you're both here. I assume you're here because you heard the news? What news? Are our parents okay, Owen? Well, I hate to be the one to break it to you, boys, but your parents were paying- were taken prisoner for not paying their taxes. They took a few other folks from here and the neighboring towns. What? Those dastards! Graydon raises the taxes to an obscene rate and then punishes people who cannot afford it? Mom, Dad, where are they taken? Your guess is as good as mine, boy. But word has it the jailer is one of Graydon's men. They've been taking the folks up to north- up north to Graydon's manse. 
To Castle Bellaro? When did they get taken? Yesterday. Now, boy. I know what you're thinking, but it's too dangerous. We'll get the money together to get them out. But what will happen after we get them out and we have nothing? What's to stop them from not doing this again? No, this has to end now. I've been running around for months, and it's all brought more grief from all for all of us. We prove we can fight and hang with the best of them. And this, this puts me over the edge. I've gotten into this protect my family, and i failed, but I'm gonna make things right. And if I can't, I'll die trying. Brother. You're a fiery one, Storch. You remind me a bit of your older brother. I've heard rumors of your exploits too, and the run-ins you've had. So which story do you believe? Am I, am I a fugitive, or am I a hero? We're not fugitives, we're just trying to do what we can. Right, brother? Boy, I know you're no thief. The people aren't trusting of Graydon. At least those with any common sense. Look, I'm not going to stop you if you want to go. But remember to stay safe. If you want to challenge Graydon, head on and liberate Bellaro, that's your prerogative. I can see you've assembled quite a force of soldiers here, and I'm sure more will join you. All I ask is that you don't die. Don't let your parents feel that pain again. I won't. Thanks, Owen. Family? Family is really important, isn't it? We wouldn't be doing any of this if it weren't for them. We're doing it together, brother. I know you're tired and stressed, but if we combine our strength, we can do it. We really can do it. That's right. As much as I don't want to do this, if we're going to do it, we should do it together. Owen, will you join us? Ha! You got guts, boy, I'll give you that. My axe arm isn't what it used to be. To get into a good brawl again is my dream, but I'm too old now. I can't do it. I gotta manage to shop. Least I can do is help you stock up. Ah, heck, Owen. That's real nice of you. Brother, do you really think we can liberate Bellaro? Marlon, I'm about as mad as I've ever been. I can feel my hands shaking. There's nothing more I want than to punch Graydon in the face. But more importantly, we gotta get our parents back safe. It's the only way to do th if the only way to do that is to fight him head on, then that's what we gotta do. It's cut and dry for me. This whole time I've been trying to survive, focusing as much as I can on that, but now... Now we've proven we can't keep doing the same thing. We gotta take the fight to them. I'd rather die fighting than li live knowing I could have done more. If this journey has taught me anything, it's that. Let's get everyone together. Looks like we are on our way again. Oh, steel sword, okay, cool. Oh, steel axe, okay, cool. Steel bow, okay, cool. <laughs> Wait, Storch, before you go, I have a favor to ask you. Huh? What is it? Look after Larissa. My daughter is tough as nails, but she's the only family I have left. I know you and her don't speak much, but I think she'd be going... But I don't think she'd be doing this if she wasn't interested in patching things up. Right. I'm not asking you to make amends. Look, I don't really care about the dramas of teenage romance. But just don't let whatever happened between you two all those years ago cl cloud your judgment, right? I won't. Good. I'm going to go chat with her before you head off. Storch, remember what I said. Don't die on us. And give him hell. I won't forget. Larissa, are you well? Father, I am. I'm glad to see you're safe. I spoke with Storch, and he's going to fight back to save his parents. Are you going with him? Yes. I don't really know why I kept fighting after that banding at bandit attack. A woman such as myself, a fugitive? It doesn't sit well at all. Oh, father, I'm conflicted. It all used to be so easy. Now every decision weighs on me like a stone. Tell me, does it get easier? Will it ever be like how it was? Things will get better. They will get worse sometimes, but we're always moving forward. Even if it takes us longer than we'd like, or the, if the path isn't as clear, Part of us growing up is able to accept that uncertainty. You're right. Father, I will continue to fight. I have come so far. It'll only get easier, right? It does. You've grown right before my eyes into a fine woman. Larissa, you've got your mother's resolve. I can see it in your eyes. Father. Never mind all that. Just a father getting sentimental about his girl growing up on him. But before you go, I want you to give you this. I made it for you. The spare, it's beautiful. Father, I simply cannot accept such a generosity. Look, I can't fight alongside you. It pains me that I cannot. Take this in my stead. Alright, thank you, Father. You're welcome, Larissa. Don't let anyone get in your way. Choke every point with pride. Oh, Please be safe. Father's love. Oh, that's so adorable. Father's love. Oh. Liberation of Bellaro. Sounds like serious business. <clears throat> what happened to the quiet life at home? I'd spend it regretting not taking any action to help my family. I know my dad is a stubborn mule, but he's my father all the same. I gotta help him. You're more mature than most, Starch. I give you credit. But challenge Graydon? We're always... We are already his enemies, and our numbers are small. We should really consider escaping. No, I can't run anymore, Esfer. Running these past few months... Heck, I'm tuckered out and not getting anywhere. 
My parents were taken, Esper. I can't just run away to save myself. We won our battle so far, but this next one be our, may be our toughest yet. Storch, we are with you to the very end. Storch, I told you, they're gonna tell stories about us. This may be the most exciting chapter of that tale. Just think. Storch, the hero of Port Irene. May the hero of Bellaro, joined by his loyal pals, Vagalus, the stone golem. Esphere, the dagger in the shadows. And Arcady, the handsome. Cousin, you're wrong. Surely your looks won't be what you're remembered for. Vagalus, you snake in the grass. You wound me. There's no way to talk to someone who's gonna <laughs> end this reign of terror. You wanna know what they'd say about you? They say, remember Vagalus? He used his bow to attack from far away. <laughs> He stood idly by as his handsome cousin, Arcady, deftly vanished the, vanquished the enemy. <laughs> Unlikely. Let's not waste time speculating. We need to act. Storch, we're all here. Let's go. Right, let's go. There are more. I must go. Man, can't get much sleep. Who would have thought your old, your old bed would feel so foreign? Huh? Gunnar? Where's he going this time of night, anyway? Guess I should follow. Hey, Gunnar! I don't know much about what you're about. It's kind of spooky you just show up like that, and then wander around the night like a wraith. Where are you off to? My nose is fucking itchy. Fucking annoying. Ugh. You wanna know? Heck yeah, I do. If we're a team, we gotta trust each other. You helped us back there, and you came with us here. We're teammates now. Folks you can trust to help each other. Trust has betrayed me in the past. But if you're a different sort... Alright. Storch, follow me. Wait, where are we going? You'll see. I sense danger. Let me just leave a note in case we're gone for a bit. Alright, I'll leave this at home. Let's go, Gunnar. You now have the option to embark on a side quest. Each side quest is unlocked through various secret objectives, such as visiting a village or keeping specific characters alive. You will have the option to accept or deny each side quest, depending on whether you're up, you're up for the task or not. Side chapters play out like regular main story chapters, but often feature unique objectives, new characters, and rewards. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> of course we're gonna accept the side quest. Okay, man, I love the writing of this hack. Holy shit. Oh, again, apologies for being a little low energy. It's gonna take a little while, I think. Uh, but I'm trying to play some Fire Emblem every day, at least. That's what I love doing. That's what I love doing for you guys. And this hack is honestly really brightening my day. So thank you, Pandan, for making this. this um, it makes me happy. I... I have nothing but praise. I have no criticism at all. The maps are beautiful and fun to play. The characters are all alive. This might be one of the best hacks I've ever played, honestly. I'm so glad I gave it a second chance. Alright, guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow with another episode of Vision Quest. Take care.